Hello everyone, Acid Burn here. Coming 101. Finally, uh, we came across the new movie, uh, Ninja Turtle Toys. Um, we drove two miles to go find it, and we finally found it. And thank you to Lily, Chris's wife, uh, both of them, you know. Thank you for giving us uh, info where they were at and everything. So, uh, yeah, we drove out there, to going through traffic of, you know, Los Angeles stuff. And, um, yeah, there we were. It's in an aisle, you know, when they use to hook them up and everything, the troll toys, but they have them, like, right in the middle. <clears throat> in, like, a giant box circling around with a whole bunch of Ninja Turtle toys. I mean, the movie ones. I didn't see Neutralizer or Slash and all that. It was just all them brand new movie ones. Um, so I'm going to show you the, how they look and everything. And, honestly, don't co don't judge by the the you know the pictures and all that stuff. Actually, check them out in person. They they do look fantastic. I'm kind of iffy on the Michelangelo one because he looks kind of weird. But I I love the giant turtles toys and there's other turtle toys that are coming out also. Um, for example, I want to show you the box. Um, supposedly, okay, uh, Paramount people, if you, if I say it all wrong, because I'm just repeating what I read, okay. And bear with me, it's really hot in here and I have the light on and, ugh, it's really steamy. So, supposedly that they changed the the box, which it looks the same from what I remember i seen. Um, of course, like everything you buy, if, it, if Raphael, Raphael will be right here, but it changes the side of the turtles and everything. Um, they did change the title of the movie. It's not Ninja Turtles, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They just added on two parts on it. But the box just says Ninja Turtles like how it's supposed to be. So here's Raphael. And the thing is they don't come with a lot of weapons or accessories or anything. It's just the regular weapons and everything. And here's a back piece. How they all look. And here's the fun part. Okay, if like I said, I'm only repeating what I or telling you guys what I heard or what I read, okay? They have, oh, let me show you this one too, it's Dontel, I only got Dontel and Raphael because <clears throat> that's all we could afford. Uh, hopefully we'll get the other ones and I could review those as well. But yeah, my girlfriend helped me out, you know, she busted her, her ass to actually get me these toys and we finally found it. It was so, you know. Okay, so anyways, so there's so many different things that's been going on with the turtle toys. For example... And it's also on your um, on your back of your card also, and there's a booklet where I'll show you this up and close. Okay, so the original prints I saw right is that they painted their eyes like they're from the movie, but then you know they repainted them instead of all instead of clear eyes, they painted them white, which to me. That's good. It looks a lot better when it's white out. I don't like the whole eyes thing. I mean, it looks okay. It's It was just kind of weird looking. I don't know what it was. It was just kind of weird. Um, then another thing I read about that they had to replace the, um, the turtle toys because they didn't have much joints. So they couldn't really... That's what I read. Like Supposedly they couldn't really do this. Like that. They could do, I guess it was supposed to be like just one of those old, old school, you know, the arm move up and down, and that's it. Just like the old 80 tur turtle toys. It's kind of like that, so now they put joints on them. And then I was like, and I was looking through it, and, uh, let's see, well, looks like they kind of did have it on here. I don't know. It was something I read about that uh, they had to, they want to add the joints just like the old school turtle toys. Oh, not the old school, but the, like the, the 2012 turtles. But that's what I read, and um, out of anything, really, I am so so glad they painted the eyes white. This, you know, that looks better, so much better. So um, before I get into the review, like I said, I'm gonna introduce you guys to the Fighter Corners. Here's their address, Facebook, and give them a call. They have a lot of cool stuff there, video games, old school and new, and anime, toys of all kinds, new and old. Also, check out my buddy Jared right here. Go right there and check him out. He does reviews also, not just Ninja Turtles, but everything else. 
And uh, he, that guy has some good luck on his shoulder when it comes to hunting turtles or any toys because he always finds the good deals and he always finds toys that are like really hard to find and boom, they're all right there. So uh, go out and check him out. Uh, if you like his work, you know, everything, subscribe to him. And he's a really cool guy. Alright, um, what was it say? So let's do this up and close. I hope you enjoyed this review. First things first. I want to show you the booklet. This is their version. Um, well, of course, it's Playmates, but it's also Paramount. It starts off like this. And inside is their actual, you know, I should move this back better. So we have, like, the actual what the turtles look like and everything. Of course, they grow now. And then it has their, like, their own van for the movie. I think that looks freaking sweet. I cannot see this. I can't wait to see this, you know, live, like, live action. This is the coolest van ever. And, of course, uh, these are ones that nobody doesn't know about. It's kind of like the old school, uh, what was it, 2004? The combat turtles, you know, when you squeeze their legs and the arms move around and everything. I saw them. They're actually pretty good size. They look like the fleer some um, size, and of course the the giant um, eleven inch. Start. Somebody told me they were told me they were fourteen inch, and I thought it was pretty pretty cool. But they're actually eleven inch turtle toys. Um, this kid, this game looked too excited with this. They're actually quite different than the regular sized turtles. And then you got the Evolution one. Uh, the turtles like they come with the baby turtle. Teen, and I'm all grown up, and look at Raphael's wearing tidy whities And here's where I question: There's a reason why we wanted the title on it for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So are are so the question is: Are they teenagers? Because if this is saying teen, then that means they're not teenagers; they're all grown up. That's what I got out of this just reading this. And of course, they have role play, like you know, you could dress up like that. And I'm talking about that kind of role play. Let's hurry into it. And then you got the mask. I'm not too, too thrilled about the mask because it's kind of creepy, but kind of cute at the same time. I don't see a Donatello one, so I don't know what's going on with that. But that's the booklet right there. And now, uh, we've got Raphael. So, here's Raphael up and close. I, like I said, I am very, very glad that um, they white out the eyes get Raphael a limp um, the belt thing is here's a good thing if you can see this underneath it it's another it's a little um, what do you call it a, a gap in the middle so this actually will stay on here better instead of moving around so much it actually sticks where the gaps at see so it's okay perfect it has like the um, the warrior look to it they're keeping it old school, like the Japanese um, style, which I really like the idea. Of course, Raphael, a giant shell. Oh, there's a sigh. There's a giant shell. I like the shell shape. There's a little headband thing going on here. It looks, looks like, kind of reminds me of the next mutation, kind of like. And the back piece. So there's nothing really going on underneath here. I mean, just, I don't know, that's supposed to be something right there, but... I love the detail. I really do. I it it has like the old school detail, like the how the toys look feels to the the new version, but also has a little rubber feel to it. See, and it has like the headband. It's very flexible. Very nice and flexible. As you can see what's underneath his helmet. And of course, this is also very flexible. It feels really nice, really cool, and everything. And of course, the back piece is also flexible. And it gets tighter right here. And of course, in case you're curious, two toes to uh, three. Uh, it looks like they actually painted everything. Because you know how playmates always forget to paint something. But no, everything is actually painted. Well, except for the inside of the hand thing, but it's a whole different story. 
Um, so, uh, actually, where is it? Let's see, I got to get this on camera. 2014, 2014, 2000, whatever. Anyways, 2014, Paramount Picture, so a copyrights thing. And of course, that's where the other one's at. Playmates, their address and everything made in China. So yeah, to actually have play, uh, Paramount Picture on here. Now the movements is very simple. Of course, the whole head doesn't, you know, rock back and forth or anything like that. It's actually just tilts like that because you have the hump thing on his back. Of course, Raphael is the biggest, you know, the macho one. The arms are actually can move out like that, and at the elbow part, you can actually move. The leg could twist, and so does it could twist right here at the ankle too, or the kneecap I meant. So we got the thighs and kneecaps, but the ankle does not move. As you can see right there, but it also does that. The only thing that they didn't have, which some of them is actually good and some is okay, is that there is no joints for the hand. You know, the hand to move it back and forth. But the fingers are very flexible. You actually bend them and everything. And here's a sigh. How it looks. It's not painted like they did in the, in the demo houses. How the demo has like the red and everything. More shiny paint color to it. But this is how it comes out. Uh, I saw the preview. Like the picture of the, the, the Raphael's sigh. This piece right here is supposed to be like a like a like a point, but even to a little ball thing, and he easily holds his weapon easily. But sometimes it could be easily you know move out, but it's a it's a good um, hand grip on it. Also with these ones though, so I could do this with this one. You also could do it with both hands now, just like that. Now compare them with the Raphael one. Our version, you know, one, my version, I guess you call it. He's a lot taller. Same color, skin color, people. Uh, not as rubber like you know the old school movie star. I would do the the Warner Brothers version, but I prefer this a little bit better. Because, you know, you, you have old school and a new school. And it, you know, kind of relates a little bit here and there. You know, so the shell, a little bit different. Also, I'm going to show you your toes for each other. It has little details on the toes. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here, so... It's actually pretty good work. I really like it. Um, the only thing that it doesn't have is that you can't really, you know, you can't put his side down. So, you know, there's no place for his side to hold his weapons. I mean, you could probably put this up here or whatever, but there's no weapon holder or anything like that for this, for Raphael. That's the only problem I have is that part. I don't mind the whole wrist thing not bending. I don't mind that at all. It's just, like I said, there's, I could tell maybe this was where the Raphael was supposed to put his slide. But there's, you know, it doesn't open up or anything like that. So there's no place for his weapons. And now it's time for Don Tell. The one I've been telling everyone, I want to get this right away because... I love the detail for Donatello. It, I'm crazy about it. I love the fact that he's all gadget out and everything. So super cool. As you can see, it's a very rubber tube on there. I'll give you better detail how it looks and everything. I can't wait for you to see this in action. Of course, his little goggles. A lot of people are like, oh, I like his goggles. It's like, why? It's, it's cool. It's, it's Donatello. I mean, he's the gadget guy. 
Not only that, the, uh, the 2007 movie, the toy, he has like, goggles on his head. Nobody complained about that. I still think it's really cool. Oh, he has a little radio antenna. Has that rubber thing to it. He's also, he's also, Ultra, what the heck? He's also a hunch over because of the shell. Love the shell, do you tell? Move his uh, weapon. And Don Tello, of course, the skinniest one. That's why he has, uh, he doesn't look too um, buffed out. I love, like I said, I love the whole white out eyes thing. The only part I did not paint is the side right here. This is where his earpiece was supposed to be at. And then this piece right here is not this piece right here is not painted. But uh, it's still pretty good. Um they also forgot to paint this piece on his thigh. Right there. But uh I don't know, I, I, I try to look for more pictures on his toes, but it looks like it's supposed to have toes right there because you can see his toenails and everything. But they just painted all black. Let's see if I can find this one. Oh man, it's a small print. I don't know if you guys can see that. 2014 Paramount picture. Uh, let's see. And then you got over here, it says the same thing Playmates Toys. Made in China. So, he's wearing his own shoes, but it's like. It, to me, it reminds me of, like, Docs, you know, like, the boots I wear. I love his clothes. I really do love his clothes. And on the demo part, this piece right here, it looks like it's supposed to shine all blue and everything. But, like I said, they're keeping it old school with the Japanese style for the Turtle Toys, which I love. And his headband hanging over his shoulder, which I really love this piece. I love it how this is coming over. And it's uh, in front of his chest. arm piece right there. I mean, they, I think they came out really good. They, they look amazing. I guess his little nose. This one has more of a lip and a strong chin. Of course, they forgot to paint that piece right there. I could, looks like he's got a ball or something. I don't know he is, but uh, yeah. And the movements. Um, of course, the movements, you know, your typical head move. Arms goes out. Move that to arm. Like that. Same thing as thigh moves, and so does. Well, the thing is, his. There he goes. The knee moves. And of course, his bull staff. It's all like gadget out also. Instead of black, they painted yellow. More like a gold mustard kind of look. Now. Here's the problem. Here's the thing I ha I do have a problem with. He doesn't have any movements at his wrist, just like Graphio, which is okay. But he really can't hold his um, bow staff like the old school way, because he can only do this. This is as far he can bend his thing. He can't really hold it out like the other turtle toys. That's about it. And of course, um, with Donatello, I thought maybe he could hold his bow staff like right here, but it, it doesn't really hold bow staff because it's too flexible. It doesn't click on. No, I actually tried. I'm like, oh, well, maybe it will, but no, there's something to to hold on to it. But uh, he is he, he does make a good model like to mom. Hold him up somewhere and lean him against something. Oh, those of you who didn't see my picture, I kind of did that whole duck walk with the ACDC thing. That little. Because it looks like he's holding a guitar. The way he's holding his um, bow staff. But besides the wrist part, I think this has to be the one of my favorite uh, Ninja Turtle toy for the new movie. I do like Leonardo next. He's my second, also favorite, and Raphael's my third. And of course, uh, it's a movie star uh, Dontello. A buddy of mine gave it to me. Uh, thank you so much. Still, I can stop saying thank you. Uh, as you can see, that he has the exact same skin color. 
course, the new movie is a little bit taller. Uh, is of course he's skinnier than this version over here. And of course, the shell part is kind of almost the same color, but a little bit off. But more detail on this shell over here, because you can see like dents and uh, cracks and. So, I know a lot of people were not thrilled on the new look, but there's a lot of people who said the same thing and actually got a chance to look at it up and close. They started to become fans of the new toys. So, hopefully, when I get Michelangelo and Leonardo, I could do a review on it. I really want to get a giant Leo because he looks freaking amazing. Honestly, so uh, trying to see. Oh, I forgot to show you a little more of this piece right here. Hang on, on the Raphael thing, how you can see like the reptile skin. Very beautiful. I mean, it is beautiful detail how they did that with with the reptile skin. Of course, his neck. I kind of like the fact how they made Raphael, like, you know, chill out and everything. Uh, Donatello doesn't have that reptile, uh, look to him. And you know, have that skin reptile thing. It's just really plain, like. So... Yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like, guys. It, like I said, it is a very beautiful, fantastic detail. I'm not kissing butt here or anything to, um, to um, Paramount or anything like that, but it is fantastic. This is my point of view, and those of you who know me for so long know I am very, very picky on my Ninja Turtle toys and the design, and I still think this is fantastic. Uh, those of you who want to have an ultra close on the cover, let me show you a little more. Of course, there's a Raphael right there with sunglasses on. More like meaner look. And Leo. And of course, Mikey. And then Don't Tell, my favorite. Um, for the Raphael box. It took me a while to get Raphael out of there because he was so big and so so much in that bubble. Um, I wanted to say the box cover, like how it looks like all the green color and uh, the black. It actually is a beautiful um, card. So save these guys, seriously. And of course, uh, like I said, if you haven't seen them with their eyes color, there it is. That's what his eyes supposed to look like. Like right there. Ah, uh, Don Tell, where is he? And then Don Tell with his eyes painted. And see, it's put, like, that looks so different. I don't know why. But it looks different. And of course, uh, Splinter, which it looks really cross side out. I had, to, I had to look double look at him again. And uh, of course, April. They didn't, they didn't do too bad in April. Sure, it looks pretty cool. He's the same height though when I looked at it. I want to get him though. And a foot soldier, uh, I mean, I don't know. To me, I don't know. I could be wrong on this, but I don't think that's the guy we see who was talking to April O'Neil. I don't think that's really Shredder, if you know what I mean. But, uh, it's like I said, I am not a big fan of Michelangelo's look. Kind of had that Toxic Crusader kind of look. That's what it kind of reminds me of, but it's going to take me a while to get used to it because, like, it's like the, the, what do you call it, that? 2007 version. It took me a while to get used to that as well. Alright, so for the new version, only for Dontel and Raphael, um, push like if you like it. Seriously. Uh, it will help me out also. Uh, push like if you like this review. Um, I want to hear you guys' thoughts. I mean, don't just say, ooh, God, it looks like crap, or don't do anything like that. I want to know why. What makes you not liking it? And those of you who are a fan like me, who also are a big fan of it, what do you guys think about it? what made you so draw into these turtle toys, the new version? Um, 
I mean, there's, I think it's a freaking amazing look. They actually, have, I mean, yeah, they have clothes, and but it's very Japanese samurai ninjas, um, you know, gathered together of the clothes. I love it a lot. Um, share this with your, with your uh, friends, uh, turtle fans out there. I don't know if anyone actually um, reviewed a new version yet. I haven't seen any yet. If I, oh, I haven't gone online to check. But um, I hope there's some good reviews on it. Um, so yeah, I will do a more review on a new version soon. I guess there would just been money trouble here. So uh, push like, share your thoughts. I like to hear your thoughts. And if you bought the turtle toys yourself, put your comments down and tell me exactly what you th first saw. What do you thought about it? You know. So like I said, the plastic is a little bit different. It has more of a, a little bit of rubber feel to it. But it's still hard plastic. Um, there's no head squeeze thing, nothing going on like that. So, uh, yeah. There is one more little thing I forgot to mention. It's these guys. And one more thing. If you haven't noticed, yes, they're a different size. One's, you know, the whole taller and one's bigger and everything. So the reason why they're not staying up. So let's start with Donatello. He's hunched over. And you got Donatello right here. As we all know, Donatello is the tallest. Even though he's hunched over, eh, he's Donatello is still the tallest. The uh, movie version. Jimmy, so just straighten him out. I'll just because he'll fall back because of that weight in the back. But yeah, the movie version is a lot taller than the 2012. And you can see that they're exact same um, skin color. Same color headband. Because I had the, se the second print right here. So yeah. So that's the size right there. Move you out of the way. Dang it. Everybody just keeps falling over. Okay. Don't fall. And now we got Raphael, which is should be all totally obvious on this one. Of course the movie version, of course. I'm moving straight on his leg for you guys. The movie version is also taller than the 2012 version. Same skin color, same headband color, same brown. Of course, the weapon's a little bit different. Aye. But if you get this version, Sai, into Raphael's hands, it also fits as well. Exactly. Fits perfect. Um, so, get this in here. And there goes a the helicopter. And here. Okay, something else popped in my head, and I thought somebody's gonna ask this question Will the new figures fit into the party wagon? Let's find out, shall we? Alright. What do I have in here? Alright, I'm going to turn this around. Now, let's start off with Raphael. Let's have him stand up in his party wagon. Seems to fit okay in here. But he's a little bit tall standing up, right? But it closes. And he's still standing. So he's a little bit tall. But yet, like I said, perfect. No slamming, no forcing anything. He fits. That's a good thing. Don't tell him without his bow staff in his hand because it won't fit. Because it sticks out. Let's do this. 
So yeah, Donto. Perfect. No force, nothing. So he actually fits. The fun part. Bend his knees. Reason why I say that? Because the head hangs out. So let's see. Maybe there's a way. Maybe we bend his knees to the side. Like that, maybe. I don't know. Put him in. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So bend his knees. Make sure his feet sticking side to side, outwards. He'll fit in perfect. Plus, if you want another view, there you go. He's actually inside the van. Actually, the best part is actually the driver's side. Okay, time to do Raphael. Be careful with his feet. Be careful taking him out because it's kind of kind of a tight squeeze. Raphael, let's take off his side. Alright. See if we can do this. Bend his knees. Maybe do it like that. See, like that. Uh, no. He'll fit. He will fit. I'll show you right here. He's inside. He will fit, people. But it's going to be a tight squeeze because he's in the middle. I'm trying to put him to the side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I got it. There you go. He fits inside the thing. He's a little bit, you know, tall. So, question is, do they both fit in there? Inside. There you go. Get this bad boy up. There you go, people. They fit in a party wagon. Therefore, they will fit perfect for the techno drone. Let me move this down. So, as you can see, I mean, it's kind of a squeeze, kind of like a little bent in, a little bit in here and there. But they do fit. There. there. He's staying straight. There. So the new versions of toys do fit. But we are not done yet. No, no, no. Next test the door. Now we get my uh, headband. So, shit. My hair tie. I don't have a rubber band, but I do have a rubber tie. That making sense. All right, that's my chair. I didn't fart. All right, move these boxes out of the way. Whoa! Now you go to the floor. All right. First test I want to try is, well, of course, Don Tell, because uh, he had that thing in his back. So, yeah, so you can see what I'm doing. Raise your arms up. I'm gonna fit it on here. All right, got him on. All right, this is how he looks like on the, on the back door and thing. But yet. So I'm gonna fix his legs. 
Let's fix his legs. It's gonna be possible. Hey, maybe we could do like that. Let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, he's in. Voila! Perfect. Donatello fits at the, with the swinging door. Perfect. Just gotta move his leg together and push up. One more try. No force or anything. Boom. Donatello fits. Perfect. Now for this big guy right here. Oh man. It's gonna be fun. Alright, let me set him up on here. Remember, this has got to be fun. Come on, rubber tie. Here. Okay. He's on. He's big. Put his arms together. Put his legs up. Together like that. See? That's how you put it. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay. So, no forcing, nothing like that. Boom! Raphael fits. Perfect. One more try. Bam! And there you guys have it. The new version of the Ninja Turtles can fit perfect with anything from 80s and 90s and 2012 at pretty much anything. Technodrome, whatever. They fit perfect. Both of them. Now, once I get my hands on uh, uh, Leonardo and Michelangelo, we'll do the exact same test, people. So don't worry. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, push a like if you liked this review. I hope I did a good job on this one to introduce you to the new stuff with the old stuff. Uh, push like on anything you like, the toys, the idea what I just did. Share with your friends, people. So yeah, there's my review right there, guys. Um, I know I've been saying that's it, that's it, but it's been keeps popping my head. I gotta show about this, what about this? And I have a strong feeling someone's gonna say, could they fit with the, the old school 80s stuff? And well, I just proved to you twice, they do fit. Um, those of you who have never seen my reviews before, um, I also did with the, the 2012 version. They also fit too in the 80s ones. Check out those videos as well with the Turtle Van. And I think I did one with the Technodrome. Yeah, I did one with the Technodrome also. So I'll put those re reviews underneath this one right here. So there's gonna, there will be links all the way down to the title and the link to go straight to the review. All my re reviews have these on there underneath it. So go ahead and check it out that re relate to this one. Um, yeah, the turtle van is totally popped in my head. It's like, wait a minute, I wonder if they do fit. And there you go. Uh, they fit perfect. No struggle. Nothing. It, was, it blew my mind. This is the first time I'm actually trying this for the first time with you guys watching it. So I didn't go over this. Let's try this. Let's try that. And I actually did exactly for the first time for you guys to see up and close. Um, so yeah, push like, guys. Push like will help me out. Push like if you like my review. Uh, I like to hear some comments. Seriously, put some comments on this thing. I want to hear your thoughts. Anyways, my opinion on the new stuff. Get your hands on these guys. Seriously, they are so cool. Very good detail. Very good detail. Cool color. I mean, we went through we, people. We went through a lot of changes over the years, and I don't know why people are complaining about this one because we had it before, like some really twisted looking turtle toys and really weird comic book clothes and stuff like that so I don't know why people think these are bad ones these are actually pretty good so um yeah until then people take care of yourself and happy hunting everyone at ECU collection people love me alright it's ebay time and we already know where this is gonna go here is the brand new Slash for the new series, right? Now, when you go to stores, because this is a basic toy, so it's going to be like 
dollars around there, seven bucks for cheap. This special Dingleberry, um, he's selling it for twenty three ninety nine. I see, four dollars and fifty cents for shipping. So put that together. All right, this is what I call retarded mode. Uh, here's a thing who's selling it. Hey, Brent, get a little brain for a minute, because. Why should we spend that much money when we could go to Target, Toys R Us, anywhere for like cheap, really cheap? <clears throat> Do not follow this one watcher. This one watcher is Brent or his little douchebag buddy. Now the thing is, um, when you bet on this, I don't know why would you want to. This person will I'll bet you like in two seconds, and then we try and bet that guy. And he'll I'll bet you right away. So pretty much you're betting against a robot or this guy right here, so you can make more, get more money out of you. It's a scam. People seriously get smart, go to stores and get it for cheap. Not someone from Hey Brent. I swear I'll smack you with a fish. Anyways, put your comments down. Tell me what you guys think about this.